Hey you guys, so I recently broke up with my boyfriend and I didn't think that I was gonna share this experience or this story just because it's not that big of a deal and it's kind of private too, but I decided to share it because I felt like the girls really needed to hear about this. Um, so there are two major points I'm gonna make and I'm gonna try to keep this very short. So number one, the way that God has carried me throughout this breakup is really nothing short of amazing and unbelievable. Usually after a breakup, I'm a mess. Like I've been known to cry in the club over a breakup. Like I'm telling you days, weeks, you know, and the fact that that has not been my experience this time is only because of God. And I've been really trying to get back to my relationship with him first and foremost, so that he is leading my relationships from now on. Number two is I feel like a lot of times when we all see these breakup stories, especially coming from the woman's perspective, it's always like this horror story, like, you know, the stuff that she's been through and what he put her through and all the stuff that she put up with. And we all look at her like, girl, why was you in that relationship? Like, why did you stay? But when I tell you guys that that's not my experience at all, like it just wasn't. My ex was a great guy. Like even after we broke up, still sending me flowers to my apartment, you know, like just a great guy, but for somebody else. And we didn't break up because of anything that he did to me anything that I found out or anything or anything that I did to him we literally broke up because just of small things that led me to understand that this was not my husband and so I needed to make room for my husband by exiting that relationship um but I'm telling you the way that he treated me within this relationship was so good he's raised my standard and you guys know that my standards are already high to begin with but my ex treated me so well in our relationship that it was like if, if the next guy, he's made it harder for the next guy. Because if the next guy isn't coming like my ex or better, then off the rip, you can get to step in. Like, so, you know, breakups don't always have to be this, oh, I'm, I'm learning a hard lesson or I went through some traumatic experience. Not every relationship is going to end up in a marriage. And the ones that don't end up in marriage doesn't mean that it has to be messy or, you know, as long as you're upholding your standards within the relationship, it should be a positive experience. And honestly, my relationship was a positive experience. And I'm telling you, like, I have nothing bad to say about him and um we're still friends we still talk and everything but um i just don't feel like the girls hear that often about a relationship that you get out of that has raised like raised your standards that like he's treated me so well like the next guy is gonna be hard for him you know so i just wanted you guys to hear that because not every breakup is a horror story and not every breakup is some hard learning lesson some breakups are really because you're just maturing and you want different types of relationships and you just came to understand like i don't see myself mirroring that person so let's not waste each other's time and that's pretty much what this was but like i said great guy love him and yeah that's it I have come to the conclusion that no matter what you do as a man, you will never understand women. Because what is this? Good enough will never be good enough for people like this. You can give a woman like this heaven and she will still say what about hell. It's ridiculous. At this point, I think God himself should bring women clay and sand so that they can create the perfect man for themselves. Because nothing is good enough for them. She really said he was a good guy. He treated me well, but he was not my husband. Like what? What I really don't get is how do you even get into a relationship with someone if you think they are not good enough? Like, yeah, in a dating phase, cool, but once you commit there for more than a year or two, it's crazy to end things because you feel it's not good enough. That's really crazy if you think about it, especially if so much time was spent. Right or wrong, usually that person has an unstable love life until they have to settle. And to the guy who's still buying her flowers, nigga, respect yourself and move on. The relationship is done. We really gotta stop wasting each other's time in relationships, man or woman. If you think someone is not good enough for you, you will know during the first few dates. It does not take five years in a committed relationship to realize that. Unless you move in for career goals or were long distance for the last few years, that makes no sense. Granted, everyone changes in a relationship, but a general connection will still be there if you were sincere from the start. You don't go from five years to not compatible unless you have big issues or you were not sincere with your feelings. But hey, who cares what I gotta say? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.